to shard tabletop in this video you will learn how to create a new character so to start off you will come up here to the my character section and click the new character button here you see a random name is generated for you if you do not like the name you can always switch it out by clicking random name down here you can also type in your own name if you wish for this tutorial I'm just going to generate a random name press OK and it will be brought to a blank character sheet now to get a lay of the land you want to first pick your race background class abilities you can pick them in any order down here you have your stats you have your skills your weapons your equipment and some description of your character so to start I'm gonna pick a race here you have a ton of options you can also expand on certain races if you want a specific type I'm going to be a hill dwarf. Uh, below you have a ton of information on the selected race. Also up here you have more names generated based off of your race and you can also filter it to be male or female. And if you don't like the three names that are given you can always select more to be generated. After that you can come down here and select tools. I'm going to just use smith tools. Go ahead press close. Now moving on to the background. Again, you have a ton of options. For this video, I'm going to be a hermit. Have your information of your background below, and I can select my language. Uh, I'm going to select Draconic, and go ahead and press Close. Next is Class. Let's see, I'm going to be a Druid, and you have information below your class features. You can go ahead and press Save. Now here are your character levels. For this video, we are not increasing any levels, but this is where you would come during your campaign if your character increased level. So we're gonna select our proficiencies. Uh, let's see, I wanna do nature and survival. Go ahead and click close, not add level. All right, come up here to your abilities. And here there are multiple different ways to input your ability scores there's a standard array there's also freeform point by and roll scores for this tutorial I will show you roll scores so how this works you simply click one of these dice and it will roll numbers for you and you can input these values into the abilities so if I just do this pretty fast alright and then below there are some tips for you if you would like to follow on how you should stack your ability scores I'm gonna go ahead and press save now I'm gonna do my starting equipment these are the default equipments that your character starts with to change it simply check the box over here and open the drop down menu and select a weapon of your choosing so I'm gonna go with a dagger and let's do a light hammer go ahead and click add all right and since I am a druid I have spells so up here I have two cantrips and I'm allowed one prepared spell so I think I'm going to do create bonfire also if you do click on it it will give you a brief description on what the spell does so I'm going to go ahead and check control flames and create bonfire. I'm going to scroll down here for one of my prepared spells. I think I will do um, absorb elements. All right, go ahead and click save. Once you have completed that setup, you can come down to weapons, armor, and tools, and you can go ahead and equip your weapons and armor so that you're ready for your campaign. Once I finish that, I have the ability to upload a token. Now, if you already have a token in mind on your computer, you can simply just upload token. If you don't, you can search the web for one for this. I don't have a token prepared, so I'm gonna search the web. You can filter it by transparent background or not. Uh, you also have filters for male, uh, your class, and your race. So I like this guy, so go ahead and select that. I'm gonna come down here and press pick. All right, and the cool thing about this is that I can actually drag and move the image wherever I want into the token. I can also zoom in if I want more detail on my character to show on my token. So I think that's pretty good. 
go ahead and press save. All right, and your token should appear up in this corner up here. Now, as I drag my mouse over my skills, you see that they are highlighted in green. These you can simply click on and it will roll dice for you. You can also select if you have an advantage or a disadvantage and it will roll the dice for you again. So anything that gets highlighted in green when you hover over it with your mouse, you can roll. Also with the the dice icon up here, you can roll that and it will roll that as well. Same with these stats up here. You may also do it for weapons and especially when you are attacking if you do a critical hit, you press critical hit and it will roll your crit hit for you. Now you can also change the color of the dice. So let's say I don't want blue. I can simply come up here, click my character name, uh, drop down menu up here, simply go down to pick dice and I have a variety of colors to choose from. I'm gonna pick purple and I can go ahead and just roll the dice. Boom, it's purple. Alrighty, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is that you can provide a description of your character. So simply scroll down to the description box and click on it. You can first start with your alignment. You can choose to be unaligned or you can choose from one of these options. I'm going to be lawfully evil or lawful evil. Uh, before you start your descriptions, if you look at the bottom of the box, there are provided features for your character that you can follow to provide a more accurate description. So I'm going to start by making my character male. Uh, for the age, it says that hill dwarves are considered young until they reach the age of 50. So I want my character to be older. So I'm going to make him 55. It says that dwarves stand between 4 and 5 feet. So I'll just be four feet tall. Um, and it says that for weight, on average, they are about 150 pounds. I want my guy to be on the slimmer side, I think. So I think I'll make him about 142 pounds. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and click save. After your description, you can come down to your personality traits, ideals, bonds, etc. Simply just click on the text. And you can add any kind of personality trait you like, you can type whatever you want. So I can do I like pie if I like pie. And then you can also s click on pick a personality trait where there are about eight preset traits that you can just simply add. So I can just click one and it'll add it. And I just press OK and here they will appear. Same thing goes down for ideals, pick ideal, mm, power. All right, in each one you're, you can pick one and you can type anything you want in the box. And that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys make some cool characters. Happy hunting!